glad that you are here today at the Port Tobacco One Room Schoolhouse. And I am going to be your teacher today to tell you about the Port Tobacco One Room Schoolhouse. Like 17 plus 13. Woo. That's really hard. This is going to make Do you think the Poor Tobacco One Room Schoolhouse is? I'm Jean McGuire and I've been a docent for two years. Schoolhouse is about 135 years old. Whoa! Basically we are the tour guide or the teacher and we try to explain some of the past, some of the things in the schoolhouse as well as outside, but we want to try to engage them as much as possible in the activity so that they will remember and then when they go back to school they can do follow-up activities with their classes and with their teachers. So we're going to read a little poem on page 28. So you're going to look for the 2-8 on top of the page and 2-9. My name is Andrea Turner and I have been a docent at the One Room Schoolhouse for about four years. I just have so much fun with it. It's just fun to see the children and I feel be very lucky to be part of this opportunity for them to get out of the classroom and to learn history firsthand. What classes do you take back at Malcolm? What are some of the classes you take? We're trying to teach them both the history of the One Room Schoolhouse and also a comparison. So they're coming here and they're learning about the old and comparing it back to their school. Some kids have never even been to a museum. This might be their first experience and they're able to to come and see things that are just a few, few short miles from their home and how things have changed in the educational system and how we still learn some of the same things but maybe in a different way. We start off by taking a tour around the school so they can see how physically it's different and then we come in and we point out all the different aspects of the classroom. Come on in. Good morning. I don't really care. Yes, I really like the beginning when when you come in, you sit down, and and I also like the one where we get to write on the little chalkboards. The desk there. Fancy, they're nailed together, they're all together, they would never move. And the cool thing was, you could flip the chairs up. You could flip the chairs that were on people's desk up. I saw a little bookshelf and there were like lots of old books and in Matula there's not that many old books here. They don't have air conditioning or heaters back then. All they have is a wooden stove. Inevitably you get asked, so is this your desk when you taught here or where is your horse and buggy? So I said, you know, I do preserve, I've preserved pretty well, but not quite that well. They think that, that we are actually, were the teachers back in the 1800s, 1900s. There's a, some new story or some new question that the students will come up with. I just can't believe that they're this curious and this excited to be here. I like when we did like the little scavenger hunt. We had to like find stuff and it was like really tricky. One of them was glass marbles and when I looked at them they were really really cool. That giant American map that was on the wall. Yeah I like that pretty cool. Because it showed you the whole United States and it was awesome. And it was like super huge. I saw like the, the ink. Well, it was really, really neat because like they had like feather pens or regular pens and they were super cool. Now we are going to have a little spelling lesson. Are we ready? Number one, baby. Number two, kitten. Number six, 
wood. Now I'm walking around and I am seeing a lot of super duper spellers. I'm just spelling because I spell a lot of things. Kitty was hard. Run was easy, Sun was easy. These books are a little bit um, fragile, so, and, so just be gentle with them. And if a page falls out, just put it back in. I like the spelling and the reading because I really like to read different kind of stories because then once I read like big stories, then I'm going to have to start reading chapter books. And now we're going to have a little arithmetic. I like the math. It was like all these different kinds of questions and they were kind of tricky. Mm. I liked when we did the punishments. <laughs> they all want, today, every hand was raised. They all wanted to volunteer to be punished. Pulling your hair up against the wall and making you step on your tippy toes and put a nail with it. If they get tired, then you would just have to fall down and then it would yank your hair. At recess, if two kids were fighting, you'd hit each other with six. But if you were fighting here, you just get an office referral. Does anybody know what dunce means? The duncey hat was really funny. Everybody would point and laugh, and you can do that. Ha, 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 Very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Everyone that? laughed at me. <laughs> it was very embarrassing. The teacher would call you sit in this chair. And you would have to wear the dunce cap. Dun, dun, dun. And she like didn't really feel bad for herself. She was just like smiling. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then then like when she was over, she was just like skipping back to her seat. Back then I can't believe people still even went to that school. It's so, again, so foreign to them. The don't spare the rod philosophy is so different than obviously they're being raised today. That was a really cool field trip. Like that was better than the other field trips I went in first grade. On a scale one to 10, 10 because it was really fun for all the things I learned. It was funny and fun. I think it's kind of cool going there, but I wouldn't like the punishments if I went there. It's just fun to be around the little, the little ones and see their energy and their excitement as they're bounding off the bus, and their little minds are like little sponges taking it all in, so it's just fun to, to watch them be excited over the history of our things in our county. I'm very excited to be part of this opportunity. It's wonderful to meet all these children and hear their excitement and you can read about it and hear about it in the classroom, but to get into a one-room schoolhouse is exciting. <laughs>